Okay. Thanks for tuning into the Real Preparedness Project. It's been a while since I posted the video. This is a bag from T3 Gear. Uh, I use it all the time for a lot of different things. Going to the range, it's a range bag. Uh, kayaking, sw uh, going swimming. This is just like a regular day bag. Barbecues, bringing stuff over. Um, all sorts of stuff. Great bag. Uh, this one's in multicam, obviously, as you can tell from the camo pattern. Uh, I wish I got it in either black or if they offered it in gray or maybe a blue, just to maybe stand out a little bit less. Not a huge deal where I'm at, but it looks like it would have probably been a little bit better. Uh, some of the features this bag has on the outside. It has a reinforced carry handle up top. You see here. It has a strap. This is a, I think it's a one inch strap. Lots of adjustment. I put it on my big ass, so no issues there. It's detachable on both sides with standard buckles. And these are the larger buckles. Both sides of the bag have pals webbing. Uh, the outermost webbing isn't really that useful because it's not full size. You can probably fit like a mouse clip or something through there. But it's three rows. So you could fit a magazine pouch, smaller IFAC, frag pouch, smoke, radio, anything on there really. Dual pistol magazine pouch. Has that on both sides. And then on the rear, it has belt attachments it has hook and loop on both sides of the bottom one so if you have a belt with hook and loop you can attach it securely to the belt and take some of the weight off your shoulder strap or have it more securely on your person if you have sensitive items or you don't want it to flop around as much I've never used those uh, not something that I really need but they're there and they don't get in the way it has a large top flap with another buckle uh, second complaint with the bag, really I only have three besides the color, but that was my choice. Uh, I wish this had a zippered pouch on the outside for quick access to items, either zipper, velcro, something like that, just so I could have something up top that I want quick access to, like miniature ear pro, flashlight, something like that. Anyway, opening up the bag, we have three double M4 magazine pouches. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to check and see how much time I have on my camera here. Uh, so they fit two M4 magazines, 30 rounds each. Very securely. And on those, the hook and loop secures all the way through. Uh, you can see on this one, I have two MP5 magazines and a 40 round P mag. It'll fit probably four MP5 magazines or similar Block 33s, MPX, whatever. Water bottle. The water bottle, perfect. Uh, most of the time I use this as like going to a friend's pool or a barbecue or to hang out. And I really just stick drinks in here, I'd say 95% of the time. It's on magazines. Uh, great feature. Also on the inside, if it had another zippered pouch that'd be great or even hook and loop uh, the inside of the bag is big enough to fit a pelican case this one if it's perfect is the model 1200 and inside this i have uh, mods so if you want way to carry something in a uh, padded case great option for that it's really really perfect inside I think you have a large open area and it's divided into kind of three areas you have another large area back here for miscellaneous things you can stow and here you have a radio pouch which is retained to the shock cord you can tie that through the back has a regular clip here, uh, like an ITW Nexus clip. 
elastic retention, just like on the magazine pouches. I have carried radio in here with like a hand mic on it. It's not ideal. It'd probably be better for a different style of radio, but it definitely does work. Inside you have four loops for uh, two sets of four loops for either chem lights or anything else like that you want to add in here. Uh, I've never used those for anything, uh, but I'm sure some guys have uses for those. Inside the bag, sorry, I'm trying to hurry. You can fit uh, an MP5K size gun with a. Oh, that's not how I had it. With a brace, close all the way up. It does also fit 30 round magazine in the gun. A 15 probably be better, but I don't have one of those. On the inside here, you have the label from T3, made in the United States. And then you also have a concealed carry pocket, which is lined with loop. It comes with like this little trifold holster thing, which I could never figure out, could not make it work with a pistol. I threw that away. It was absolutely useless as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I wasn't smart enough to figure out how it worked, but that was uh, not something I was very fond of. It does come with a dual uh, pistol mag carrier. And it's just elastic on a hook background. Fit two magazines. This is a Glock 19 magazine. Uh, and that just velcros anywhere you want it inside. And then I have it's a Glock 19 Gen 3, Glock 19 C Gen 3, and with the hook and loop, it probably. Be a little better, but you can see it can conceal a full size handgun very well. Uh, most of the time, I have a compact handgun in here, either the gun I'm carrying or an extra gun. And a lot of the times, this has uh, like a towel for them at the pool, extra set of shorts, uh, underwear, socks, an extra t shirt. And that fits in here. Has plenty of room to spare for extra water bottles, drinks, Copenhagen. Works really great. Uh, it's all around bag. It's really easy to carry. It's made extremely well. Made in the United States. I really and uh, like this bag. I bought. And like I said, uh, <clears throat> the only real downsides I have is I wish I got it in a like a black color. And I wish I had a separate pocket up here and on the inside for quick access to items. Besides that, it's I've had this strapped to a, a kayak. Uh, all sorts of stuff. It's really great pack, really well made. Kind of a lesser known brand, T3. But I'm sure they still make, I don't, I'm not sure if they still make this. Uh, I'm sure there's other companies that make something very similar. But... As far as this one goes from T3 gear, highly recommend it if you're in the market for something similar to this. Uh, it's really a great pack. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And I'll try and upload some more videos. Thanks, guys.